I know what you're thinking. Probably something along the lines of... <coughs> but yeah, I've got a new webcam. And it's got fancy effects! That was fun. Now that's out of the way, I would like to get started. Today I'm going to be talking to you about invitations. What do you mean, Edward? Mm, name's Ted. And by this I mean I'm going to be talking about sending invitations, getting invitations, replying to invitations, and inviting yourself places. I had a conversation with someone the other day and it basically went like this. You're having a house party, can I come now? Oh. She didn't talk at all during that conversation. Never mind. So sending invitations. How do you send invitations? I don't know. Well, Ted, there's always a conundrum about what method you use to send your invitations. You could send them a letter like in the good old days. Or by smoke signal. Oh, that was fun back in those days before health and safety and government pigs and blankets and... Oh, I love Christmas. <laughs> okay. Okay, what about receiving invitations? What about receiving invitations when you don't want to go? <gasps> no, Judo Puppy, I'm going to talk now. Oh. So, yeah. Do you just go up to them and tell them the truth? Do you make an excuse? How nice are you about it? Hey, Ted, do you want to come to my party? No, child, you're too fat. To be honest, if I didn't want to go to a party, and I didn't have anything on, I would, I would just go. Because there's always a chance there's going to be lots of food there. Now for inviting yourself places. I remember one time I invited myself to a party. Well, I heard the sound of this piano from this house. I didn't realise at this time it was a dinner party for the Queen. And so I knocked on the door. A man came out with this pumpkin and he smashed it in my face. So I'm like... <laughs> and he's like... Didn't you know this is a dinner party for the Queen? So the Queen comes up and is all like... What is going on all here? Oh, Dad, what are you doing here? My main man, what, what, what is he? What, what is happening? Why are you covered in pumpkins? And after I explained everything to her, everything was fine and we executed the butler. Don't throw pumpkins at my face. It's bad for your health. So she then said, Oh, it's fine. We decapitated Steve. Never mind. Oh, we need to get yours cleaned up. Oh. So we looked for something to clean me up. And all we could find was a toilet brush. So I turned that into pasta. We had bolognese and that was the end of it. Mm, that was a lie. Time for more playing with the new camera things. Woo! Does this mean I get to <laughs> Oh Well it's lovely to see you again. Who look nigger Ted? Because nigger's like upset and it was in verse and it's never mind. Invisible hands, invisible hands, my hands move so fast you can barely see them. Oh. Super bad resolution. Brackety ba. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye. Eee. And Sam, please, can I have my Chinese dictionary back, please? Love you all. Good night. <laughs>